Hello students, welcome to your channel. Please like, share and subscribe your own channel, School Studies. School Studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website, Patel section. After years of hard work and dedication, we are delighted to officially announce the launch. Our goal with this website is to provide our students with an easier way to learn the lesson and prepare for exams. The new website is interactive and gives better access to NCRT solutions, GSAB solutions, kids zones and general knowledge courses and quiz. Today we will see a video related to NCRT solution for class 10 mathematics chapter 9 some applications of trigonometry exercise 9.1. So let's solve textbook exercise. The first question is The circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground. Find the height of the pole. If the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree. Length of the rope is 20 meter and angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree. So this is 20 meter and this angle is 30 degree. Given AC is 20 meter and angle C is 30 degree. We have to find the height of the pole. So let AB be the vertical pole. In right triangle ABC using sine formula sine 30 degree equals to AB upon AC. Using the value of sine 30 degree that is half, we have half equals to AB upon 20. So AB equals to 20 upon 2. So AB is 10 meter. So the height of the pole is 10 meter. A tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle 30 degree with it. The distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meter. Find the height of the tree. Now using the given instruction we have drawn the diagram here. Let AC be the broken part of tree. Angle C is 30 degree. BC is 8 meter. We have to find the height of the tree that is AB. So form the figure. Total height of the tree is the sum of AB and AC that is AB plus AC. In right, in right triangle ABC using cosine and tangent angles cos 30 degree equals to BC upon AC. We know that cos 30 degree equals to root 3 upon 2. So root 3 upon 2 equals to 8 upon AC. So AC equals to 16 upon root 3 that is our first equation. Also, 10 30 degree equals to AB upon BC. So, 1 upon root 3 equals to AB upon 8. So, AB equals to 8 upon root 3 that is the second equation. Total height of the tree AB plus AC that is 16 upon root 3 plus 8 upon root 3 that is 24 upon root 3. That is 8 upon root 3 meter. Next. A contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in the park. For the children below the age of 5 years, she prefers to have a slide whose top is at the height of 1.5 meter and is inclined at the angle of 30 degree to the ground. Whereas to, for elder children, she wants to have a step, steep slide at the height of 3 meter and inclined it at an angle of 60 degree to the ground. What should be the length of the slide in each case? So this is the plan of a contractor below 5 years 1.5 meters height of a slide and inclined angle 30 degree. Above 5 years 3 meter height and 60 degree inclined angle. So this is the diagram. Now let ABC is the slide inclined at 30 degree with length AC and PQR is the slide inclined at 60 degree with length PR. To find AC and PR in right triangle, triangle ABC, sine 30 degree equals to AB upon AC. That is half equals to 1.5 upon AC. So AC equals to 3. 
also in triangle PQR sin 60 degree equals to PQ upon PR. So root 3 upon 2 equals to 3 upon PR. So PR equals to 2 upon root 3. Hence the length of the slide for below 5 is 3 meter and length of the slide for elders children equals to 2 root 3 meter. Next, the angle of the elevation of the top of the tower from the point on the ground which is 30 meter above away from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. Find the height of tower. So, let AB be the height of the tower and C is the point elevation which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower. So, to find AB height of the tower in right angle triangle ABC 10, 30 degree equals to AB upon BC. So, 1 upon root 3 equals to AB upon 30. So, AB equals to 10 upon root 3. Thus, the height of the tower is 10 upon root 3 meter. A kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground. The string attached to the kite is tem temporarily tied to a point on the ground. The inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree. Find the length of the string assuming that there is no slack in the string. So we have drawn the diagram as per the based on the given instruction. So let BC height of the kite from the ground BC is 60 meter. S is the inclined length of the string from the ground and A is the point where string of the kite is tied. To find length of the string from the ground that is the value of AC. In the above figure sin 60 degree equals to BC upon AC. So root 3 upon 2 equals to 60 upon AC. So AC equals to 40 root 3 meter. The length of the string from the ground is 40 root 3 meter. Next, a 1.5 meter tall boy is standing at some distance from a 30 meter tall building. The angle of elevation from his eyes to the top of the building increases from 30 degree to 60 degree as he walks towards the building. Find the distance he walked towards the building. Let the boy initially stand at the point Y with the inclination 30 degree and then he approaches the building to the point X with inclination 60 degree. To find the distance boy walked towards the building that is xy from figure xy equals to cd. Height of the building equals to az equals to 30 meter. ab equals to az minus bz equals to 30 minus 1.5 that is 28.5. So measure of ab is 28.5 meter. In right angle triangle abd 10 30 degree equals to ab upon bd. That is 1 upon root 3 equals to 28.5 upon, 28 upon BD. So BD equals to 28.5 root 3 meter. Again in triangle, right angle triangle ABC 10 60 degree equals to AB upon BC. So root 3 equals to 28.5 28 upon BC. So that is 28.5 upon root 3. So 28.5 root 3 upon 3. Therefore, the length of BC is 28.5 upon root 3 upon 3 meter. XY is CD minus XY equals to CD equals to BD minus BC. So, the answer is 19 root 3 meter. So, the distance walk boy walk towards the building is 19 root 3 meter. From a point on the ground, the angles of elevation of bo bottom and the top of the tr transmission tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the height of the tower. So let BC be the 20 meter high building. D is the point on the ground from where the elevation is taken. Height of the transmission tower is B equals to AC minus BC. To find AB height of the tower from figure in right, right angle triangle BCD, tangent 45 degree equals to BC upon CD. 1 equals to 20 upon CD, so CD equals to 20. 
again in right triangle triangle ACD 1060 degree equals to AC upon CD root 3 equals to AC upon 20 so AC equals to root 20 upon root 3 20 into root 3 AB equals to AC minus BC so 20 root 3 minus 20 so 20 bracket root 3 minus 1 meter is the height of the transmission tower next a statue 1.6 meter tall stands on the top of the pedestal from a point on the ground the angle of elevation on the top of the statue is 60 degree and from the same point the angle of elevation on the top of the pedestal is 45 degree find the height of the pedestal let a b be the height of statue d is the point on the ground from where the elevation is taken to find height of the pedestal b c equals to a c minus a b from the figure in triangle right triangle b c d 10 45 degree equals to bc upon cd that is 1 equals to bc upon cd so bc is equal to cd that is our first equation in right angle triangle acd 10 60 degree equals to ac upon cd root 3 equals to ab plus bc upon cd root 3 cd equals to 1.6 plus bc root 3 bc equals to 1.6 plus bc using first equation root 3 bc minus bc equals to 1.6 bc equals to sorry bc into root 3 minus 1 equals to 1.6 so bc equals to 1.6 into root 3 plus 1 upon root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1 so 1.6 root 3 plus 1 upon 2 meter that is 0 0.8 root 3 plus 1 meter is the height of the pedestal next the angle of elevation of the top of the building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degree if the tower is 50 meter high find the height of the building so let cd is be the height of the tower ab be the height of the building bc is the distance between the foot of the building and the tower Elevation is 30 degree and 60 degree from the tower and the building respectively. In triangle, right angle triangle BCD, 10 60 degree equals to CD upon BC. Root 3 equals to 50 upon BC. BC equals to 50 upon root 3. That is our first equation. Again in triangle, right angle triangle ABC, 10 30 degree equals to AB upon BC. 1 upon root 3 equals to AB upon BC. Use result obtained in equation 1. So, AB equals to 50 upon 3. The height of the building is 50 upon 3 meter. The two poles of equal heights are standing opposite each other on the either side of the road, which is 80 meter wide from the point between them on the road. The angle of evaluation on the top of the poles are 60 degree and 30 degree respectively. Find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles. So let AB and CD be the poles of equal height. O is the point between them from where the height of ele elevation taken. BD is the distance between the poles. So this is the diagram. As per the above figure AB equals to CD. OB plus OD equals to 80 meter. Now in triangle A sorry triangle cdo tangent 30 degree equals to cd upon od so 1 upon root 3 equals to cd upon od so cd equals to od upon root 3 again in triangle right angle triangle abo tangent 60 degree equals to ab upon ob tangent sorry root 3 equals to ab upon 80 minus od ab equals to root 3 upon 80 minus OD. AB is equal to CD given. So root 3 upon 80 minus root 3 into 80 minus OD equals to OD in upon root 3. Root 3, root 3 will cut. So 83. Sorry, root 3 into root 3 it will become 3. So 80 minus OD equals to OD. So 240 minus 3 OD equals to OD. So OD equals to 60. 
putting the value of OD in equation 1, we will get CD equals to 20 root 3 meter. OB plus OD equals to 80 meter. So, OB equals to 80 minus 60 that is 20 meter. Thus, the height of the poles are 20 root 3 meter and the distance from the point of elevation are 20 meter and 60 meter respectively. A TV tower stands vertically on a bank of a canal. From a point on the other bank directly opposite the tower and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree. From another point 20 meter above from this point on the line joining this point to the foot of the tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower and the width of the canal. Given AB is the height of the tower, DC equals to 20 meter given. As per the given diagram, the right angle triangle ABD, tangent 30 degree equals to AB upon BD. So, 1 upon root 3 equals to AB upon 20 plus BC. AB equals to 20 plus BC upon root 3. That is our first equation. Again in triangle ABC, right triangle ABC, tangent 10, 60 degree equals to AB upon BC. So, root 3 equals to AB upon BC. AB equals to root 3 up into BC. That is our second equation. From first and second equation, we get root 3 BC equals to 20 plus BC upon root 3. So, root 3, root 3 will become 3. So, 3 BC equals to 20 plus BC. 2 BC equals to 20. BC equals to 10. Putting the value of BC in equation, so, AB equals to 10 root 3. This implies is the height of the tower is 10 root 3 meter and the width of the canal is 10 meter. Next, from the top of a 7 meter high building, the angle of elevation of the top of the cab cable tower is 60 degree and the angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree. Determine the height of the tower. Let AB be the building of height 7 meter and EC is be the height of the tower. A is the point from where the elevation of tower is 60 degree and angle of depression of its foot is 45 degree. EC equals to DE plus CD. Also CD equals to AB equals to 7 meter. And BC equals to AD. We have to find EC height of the tower. So this is the diagram drawn. In right angle triangle 10 45 degree equals to AB upon BC. So 1 equals to 7 upon BC. BC equals to 7. BC equals to AD. So AD is also 7. Again from right angle triangle ADE 10 60 degree equals to DE upon AD. So root 3 equals to DE upon 7. So DE equals to root 3 into 7 meter. So 7 root 3 meter. Now EC equals to DE plus CD. So root 7 root 3 plus 7 equals to 7 root 3 plus 1. Hence, it is the height of the tower. Next, as observed from the top of a 75 meter high lighthouse from the sea level, the angles of depreciation of two ships are 30 degree and 45 degree. If one ship is exactly behind the other on the same side of the lighthouse, find the distance between the two ships. Let AB be the light of the height for 75 meter. Let C and D be the position of the ships. 30 degree and 40 degree are the angles of de 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 depressions from the lighthouse. Draw the figure based on the given instruction. So this is the figure drawn. To find CD, distance between two ships. From right angle triangle ABC, 10 45 degree equals to AB upon BC. So, 1 equals to 75 upon BC. So, BC equals to 75 meter. From right angle triangle ABD, 10, 30 degree equals to AB upon BD. 1 upon root 3 equals to 75 upon BD. So, BD equals to 75 into root 3. To find the measure of CD, we use results obtained in step 1 and step 2. So, CD equals to BD minus BC, that is 75 root 3 minus 75. We will take 75 common, so bracket root 3 minus 1. So, this is the distance between the two ships is 75 into root 3 minus 1 meter. Next, a 1.2 meter tall girl spots a balloon moving in with the speed 
wind in a horizontal line at a height of 88.2 meter from the ground the angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the girl at any instant is 60 degree after some time the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degree find the distance traveled by the balloon during the interval so let the initial position of balloon be a and final position be b height of the balloon above the girl height is 88.2 meter minus 1.2 meter that is 87 meter to find distance traveled by the balloon that is de equals to ce minus cd let us redesign the given figure as per our convenient so this is the redesigned figure let triangle ab sorry triangle bec let 1030 degree equals to b upon c 1 upon root 3 equals to 87 upon c so e, ce equals to 87 root into root 3 in triangle adc 10 30 60 degree equals to ad upon cd root 3 equals to 87 upon root cd cd equals to 87 upon root 3 that is 29 into root 3 step 3 de equals to ce minus cd so 87 root into root 3 minus 29 into root 3 so 29 root 3 bracket 3 minus 1 that is 58 root 3 is the distance traveled by the balloon next a straight highway leads leads to the foot of the tower a man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depreciation of 30 degree which is approaching the foot of the tower with the uniform speed 6 seconds later the angle of de de uh, depression of the car is found to be 60 degree find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from the point so ab is b the tower C is the initial point and so D is the initial point and C is the final position of the car respectively. Since man is standing at the top of the tower, so angles of depreciation are measured from A. B C is the height from the foot of the tower to the car. In right angle triangle A B C, ten sixty degree equals to A B upon B C. Root three equals to A B upon B C. B C equals to A B upon root three. And AB equals to root three into BC. Step two, in tri right angle triangle ABD, ten thirty degree equals to AB upon BD. One upon root three equals to AB upon BD. B AB equals to BD upon root three. From step one and two, we have root three BC equals to BD upon root three. Since LHS are same, so RHS are also same. So three BC Equals to BD, three BC equals to BC plus CD, so two BC equals to CD, or BC equals to CD upon two. Distance of C BC is half of CD, thus the time taken is also half. So time taken by car to travel CD is equals to six second. Time taken by the car to travel BC equals to six upon two, that is three second. Next, the angles of elevation of the top of the tower from two points at the distance of four meter and nine meter from the base of the tower and is the same straight line with its are complementary. Prove that the height of the tower is six meter. Let AB be the tower, C and D uh, be the two points with distance four meter and nine meter from the base respectively. As per question, in Right angle triangle ABC ten x equals to AB upon BC ten x equals to AB upon four AB equals to four ten x again from right angle triangle ABD ten ninety degree minus x equals to AB upon BD so cot x equals to AB upon nine so AB equals to nine cot x that is the second equation from first and second we get AB square equals to nine cot x into four ten a AB square equals to thirty six, AB equals to six plus minus six. Since height cannot be negative, therefore the height of the tower is six meter. So this was NCERT solution for class tenth, chapter nine, exercise nine point one.
आई होप यू लाइक माई वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो थैंक यू Please leave comment question or doubts in comment section if you have any or you can drop a mail to us you will find my email id at the end of this video you can also join us on facebook page follow us on instagram connect us on linkedin or tweet us on twitter thanks for watching my video thank you